Hi. This video is an introduction to FFICE in the European context, since it reflects the implementation made by the Eurocontrol Network Manager. FFICE stands for Flight and Flow Information for a Collaborative Environment. It is ICAO driven and therefore is worldwide. The concept aims at reducing the limitations of the current flight plan, which is in ICAO 2012 format. It will support the future of the air traffic management. To the question of when, from an IKO perspective, there is the following timeline which spans over more than one decade. The FPL 2012 Global Sunset is planned for end of 2034. However, for Europe, FFICE is part of a European Union legislation. Some of the elements of FFICE shall be complied with and there is a deadline for the 31st of December, 2025. The legislation brings a mandate which is an airspace mandate. Geographically it applies to the airspace of the EU member states, plus Norway and Switzerland. FFICE brings a new global standard. This standard is called FIXIM which stands for Flight Information Exchange Model. It has been co-developed by the FAA and Eurocontrol. FIXIM allows for a lot more data to be transmitted when submitting flight plans. Now, we have a look at format and network. An FPL, that is in ICAO FPL 2012 format is sent to the IFPS via either AFTN or IATA type B network. For an EFPL, in FIXIM, due to the format and size of the message, it is sent to IFPS via B2B connection. The connection is enabled by the use of the FFI services which are part of the NMB2B services. This diagram shows the different FFI services. As the network manager is an ATM service provider that is capable of providing the mandatory FFI services, it is an EASP. For more information on the NMB2B services, consult the dedicated page on the Eurocontrol website. As the EFPL has been designed to reduce the limitation of the current FPL, it can carry a lot more information and provide more granularity. Here are some examples. From a flight dispatcher perspective, there is little change. The OFP, Operational Flight Plan contains a lot of information. When it triggers an FPL to be sent, a lot of data and granularity is lost. However, when it triggers an EFPL to be sent, then the quantity and quality of data transmitted is much higher. Now we compare FPL with EFPL. The FPL is IKO FPL 2012 is relatively short and human readable while the EFPL is much bigger. The screenshot shows a tiny part of the content of an EFPL. This is a vertical view of an IFPS processed EFPL. The light blue crosses along the flight profile represent the 4D points and the black line shows the trajectory. One of the benefits of FFICE and EFPL is that instead of having different actors holding a different trajectory, these actors are working with the same data, that is more accurate and holds more granularity. This is a non-exhaustive list of documents that are useful starting with the IKO documentation, followed by the FIXIM, the NMB2B services, and finally the IFPS user's manual. Thank you for watching.